Hello everybody, this is Veritas Tech, we back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to bypass the Google account or FRP uh, factory set protection for the HTC Desire 626 and I do have this phone has a Google account, we forgot what is the Google account so we can uh, pass the activation screen so without any further ado, let's gonna find out Before we start, we want to just pay your attention that you need to use a certain program. You guys are going to find the link to download that program on the description box. And after you download it, it has to look like this one. And then you need a USB cable as well. So you need to have this one open. As, as you guys can see over here, make sure to plug the USB to your computer and then we need to plug this one to your HTC. Now this is very important, when you plug your phone to the USB you have to see that it's successfully connected or it's connected to your phone and then you should also be able to see this message allow USB debugging and then say always and hit OK. This is going to be the first step. Let's gonna move on on the second step. It has to be done by the computer. If you guys can see here, say terminal, and then you should be able here to just go ahead and delete whatever over here. Okay, you need this one to be clean. Okay, as you guys can see. So you have nothing over here. And I do have some codes. I will link these codes on the description box as well. The first command, we need to put device. So go ahead and copy paste from here if you want and if you don't want just like type it on the computer right now I don't use and then just hit enter wait see what it's doing right now here we go done we done with the first one then go to the second one and copy it you guys have to do it like same as I'm doing it first device the second one then go ahead copy paste after we've done with this one delete this one go back and go here and you guys are gonna be able to see those on the description box so don't worry about those you guys are gonna find them copy paste this one okay so this this is gonna be the last thing we need to do it's a long code actually so I want you to copy paste and just hit enter and wait As you guys can see, command finished. So we're going to go ahead and skip this one. And we're going to go to the, to the phone. And then we need to restart. As you guys can see, the phone is still on the, uh, on the lock screen. But go ahead and restart your phone. Just hit the power. And just do restart. And we're going to come back to you after the phone restart and see what it's going to give us. Right away after I restarted the phone, it removed all the wizards. So there is no system wizard, no activation. You guys can try this one by yourself and go to the settings. As the last uh, step you have to do, just make sure to go ahead and do the factory reset one more time. Okay, go ahead and do backup and factory reset and reset the phone and hit OK and wait a little bit. It may gonna take a few minutes. And let me do give you some recap guys about what I have done. I have downloaded a program on the computer. Uh, this program called HTC or XTC2 tool. Uh, I have version 1.19. So go ahead and download it. You guys are going to find this program on the link on the description. Or you guys are going to find the link on the description box. Go ahead and download this one. Then you guys are going to be able to, uh, to get the program, open it on your computer, then plug your HTC to the computer through the USB and wait till you, that program read your phone. It will tell you that the phone has been uh, connected to the program successfully. And then it should give you a message about that the phone uh, has to enable the USB debugging. So go ahead and do all that and click same as I did. And then you guys are going to be able to go to terminal, 
with the same application and then go ahead and put the three commands and you guys are gonna find those on the description box as well and that was very much it I believe just factory set the phone that phone is gonna be like a brand new phone no Google bypass anymore I wish you guys found this video helpful if you did don't play, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and you subscribe for more thank you so much for watching as always I'll see you in my next one